this is interesting information. And you're sure to not hear anything like this out there on your evening news. Because most of you know, almost everywhere you turn, they're talking about climate change and global warming. That's what they're pushing, big time. It fits their agenda for everything. But what we have here are solar scientists that are armed with the best data yet to date regarding the activities of the sun, saying that our Earth is headed for a mini ice age in just 15 years. And that's something that hasn't happened for three centuries. Now, people could speculate and say, oh, they could be right, they could be wrong, but these are some of the best scientists with the newest data that have been following these cycles and patterns for decades. Now, they're saying that they understand solar cycles better than ever at this point, and they predict that the sun's normal activity will decrease by 60% around the year 2030, triggering what they're calling a mini ice age that could last for almost a decade. The last time that the Earth was hit with such a lull in solar activity happened around 300 years ago during the Maunder Minimum, which lasted from 1645 to 1715. Now, they say they're studying the magnetic waves on the interior of the sun that fluctuate between the northern and southern hemispheres. And in doing so, they see that there's a pattern. And when combining both the magnetic waves together and comparing, comparing the real data for the current solar cycle, they found that their predictions showed an accuracy of 97%. So, you going to keep on listening to Al Gore? Or are you going to listen to the scientists that are watching the patterns and warning here of what's to come? And it doesn't matter how much information they seem to have, you're not going to hear about this out there in the mainstream. It's like forbidden. It goes against everything they're pushing out there. But wouldn't you know, they've got the whole world thinking we're going this way and we're going the other. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7.